Hey bro, do you know what this is? It's the finger of high adventure and it's challenging you to a cook-off, a fish cook-off throwdown today. It's on. You know what I think of that? Uh-oh. <laughs> hey, hey, I paid good money for those rolls. That's not for good roll. Yeah, it is. What's going on, YouTube fam? Mikey here shooting another high adventure with my bro Ace from I got a Ace backlash. Fitness. The oh. first cast today. Oh boy. And me, Ancient, the judge of today's challenge. Guys, today we are doing, you've asked for it, another challenge, a throwdown, a fishing throwdown, but it's not just any challenge. We have to make fish sandwiches. That is going to be the challenge today. It's a fish sandwich challenge we can use what any kind of fish we want apparently yep. allegedly Bass, so crappie catfish whatever but we have to catch our own fish for our own sandwich yep yep we can't pill for each other's fish that is the challenge today it's got to be a fish sandwich can't be anything else so ace has brought his own sandwich making stuff i brought my own sandwich making stuff as always me ancient or ye old man is the judge today enough talking let's get out in the water and start fishing all right, to start my day, I'm gonna go after some crappie and perch. My good buddy Tyler, my jig dealer, supplied me with this bad boy right here. It's actually called the Joker. He's got some purple in there with some sar truth. Love this color. I've only ever used it one other time when I was ice fishing and it really delivered on the perch. So I'm gonna give it a go for some crappie today. Ace, are we allowed to know what you're going after today for your- I'm gonna go. You know, I'm gonna let the, the day play out because a cold front just moved through. So I'm not sure what is going to bite. That's fair. That's but fair. if I could pick and choose a fish, I would ha like to have like two big slab crappie. Ah. to use for my cook -off. So but we might be both going after the same the thing. Biggest, like, yeah. Yeah, the way I'm cooking, I need big pieces of meat. So I might have to use a small mouth. Like it. We'll see. Judge, what do you want for your fish sandwich? <laughs> Good food. Okay. So take a look at this. That's what we're looking for right there. We're in about 44 feet of water. Water's low 50s. You see that? That's a nice school probably of crappie slash perch right there. That's what we're going to be looking for today. Let's go ahead and get our jig down there. See if we can pull them up. Here we go. Let's get her down there. So here's my dilemma, folks. Look at all these colors. When it comes to crappie fishing, I am... Uh, I'm just not super savvy because it's basically just, I'm like, I'll pick out this color and try it. But, you know, where do you start? In bass fishing, I know exactly where to start. But with this whole crappie deal, it just kind of blind. You know, I've done well in Sartreuse. The color of the water. No, I need something that really pops, I think. I'm thinking red and white or blue and white. And that's the that's the trouble with uh, when, with this kind of fishing. I'm not super familiar with it. So we're just gonna have to pick a few lures on time, probably a double rig. We'll go for it. Got one. Haha, <laughs> see I let it drift right through it. Got just a school suspended about 10 feet. So I let it like pendulum swing back to- Oh shoot, look at that! Oh, that, that, that was a, that was totally a crappie. Oh man. Dang it, I reeled him in too fast, probably. Got him. There we go. The line will just go slack. They are not very deep down there. There's a crappie for sure. They yes. The first one on the day. Oh, and he bit on the blue. The blue can it done. Pretty one. Yes. Thank you. Yes. 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 Ah. I think this is. I think this is a white crappie. How silvery it is. Maybe not. Yes, guys. First fish of the day for me. That feels so good. Let's fill up the live well. All right, guys. First fish of the day. Live well is filled up. He looks happy. Oh, I'm getting oh, a bit. One. I got one. This is a... Here we go. Oh, Papa has Here my line. Goes. Nope. Ah. Papa has me line. I got guys. So check this out. I saw. Oh wait, I no wait. I think I have one besides. Oh, Pops has one. Yep. Guys, we got oh. doubles. Oh, we got a trout jump right there. Jumping. This is the Pops. You got Pops. You got a nice one. Get yours in the boat first. We'll get mine untangled later. There you go. That's what I'm talking about. That's doubles all of a sudden, fast action. Bam. That is pretty foxy, Pops. Nice. Nicely go. done. Let's check it out. There we go, sisters. <laughs> 
Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you want me to throw him in the live boat for you? Yeah, if you get mine tangled, I might have a fish on actually. Okay. We might have triples. But I'm tangled up in Papa's line. Okay, guys, check this out. Look at that. He's got some buddies to hang out with now. All right. Everybody needs a friend. That's right. And the words of Bob Ross. A happy little friend. All right, I finally got a fish. Actually, we've all caught a fish now. Monkey's off my back. I, I can now at least prep a sandwich. Now let's hopefully get a little bit bigger fish. We're starting to see some trout jumping around here, so I might even whip out a, a like a crankbait or a rattle trap here later and see if we can't pull in. We've caught some nice trout. My dad has actually caught some really nice trout in these narrows before, so maybe we'll do that here in just a bit, but let's get some more crappie. I, I only have nope. a big enough fish for a slider right now. Oh like yeah. A little tiny sandwich slider. Yeah. So oh, check this out. Check this out, guys. Right here. Look at that. That is the kind oh. of crappie ball you're looking for. Nice looking school right there. We're going to go ahead and anchor up on the trolling motor. It'll keep us stationary right here. We're going to get down and fish that. <laughs> oh, got it. Oh. Got him. Yes. Are you on the bottom? Oh, boy. Nope. I'm actually about like really high up. <gasps> Ooh, the nice, nice one. Oh, it'll be good for my frying pan. <laughs> yes, on the blue again. They want the blue. Guys, here's my theory. I think the ones near the top of the school are more active because I was fishing near the bottom there for a while and not getting any bites. As soon as I moved it to the top of the school, started fishing about 15 feet instead of 40 feet, he bit. Ah, yes. Yes, yes. Well, I've moved from making a tiny fish slider to a good fish sandwich with those two. <laughs> yeah, that fish is real high up. I was near the bottom of that school and I was, wasn't getting anything, so. And he attacked it. There was no, yeah. it was like, Rawr! You heard a roar, didn't you? Mm, I heard a mate. <laughs> Some bubbles came up <laughs> from the roar. That's how a crappie roars. <laughs> Got him. Dead gummit. You guys, they want this. Oh, this time it's on the red. So two on the blue, one on the red. Yes, hello, buddy. He's a little on the small side. Ah, he's fine. That guy bit on the red. First red fish of the day. Not a bad little crappie. Guys, this is how it's done. Oh, got him. Yes. Dang it. Guys. Hey, hey, hey. Oh, oh it's a, a, that's a slabby. Whoa. On the red. Now, that is interesting. Two on the red and two on the blue. This is fun. I haven't crappie fished in a long time. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> Number four, guys. Mm. All right, so Ace is up to four crappie already. I only have one, plus the old man's caught one. But I need to, uh, I need to get on the stick here because I need some more fillets. He's on the bottom. I know. That's oh, a snag. <laughs> anyway. I gotta figure something out here. I might even change jigs. I'm gonna give this joker jig a little bit more time because I'm getting a few bites, but I haven't gotten as many as he has. So we gotta get on the stick. We gotta get back in. I'm gonna let us uh, drift just a tad second more. Because Did you notice going... that boat that approached us at the, near, at the hump? <gasps> oh, look at that. Did you see him down there? He followed up. Is, was, was it gonna bite it? Got him, got him. No Guys, way. these crappie. Oh, it's That's a trout. Oh. It's a trout. That's why he followed it up. Oh, he bit on the blue. Guys, I got a trout. Bonus trout. Oh, wait. I just had a bite. Here's the fish right there. Look right at there. him. Oh, guys, look at that big school of fish right there. And this nasty oh, little dude, trout. Dude, that's a bonus fish right dude. there. Pops, you might be having some fresh trout. Oh, yes, guys. This is what I'm talking about right here. I'm not expecting the old trout on a crappie jig, but that has happened before. It's about a 14 incher. There you go. He wanted to get in the live well. Got one. Man, you guys just aren't living right or something. Ah, uh, this is too small. I think I'm gonna release him. I have enough anyway. <laughs> Got one. Mm -hmm. Crappie all day. This one on the red. So it's kind of alternating back and forth. They want, they're just hungry. 
They want Basically red and blue. This is another kind of small one. I might throw them back. Yeah. I'll throw them back. Wait for the bigger one. Pops, I'm going to be able to make you a big meaty sandwich this <laughs> afternoon. Just full of fish. All right, so I retired the Joker jig. I've tied on this little white and red. Well, he was white. This guy has seen the fall of 2019 when we came out here and hammered perch. So he's been through the ringer and he's a little worse for wear. Actually, he's missing his eye on that side, but he's proven. So we're going to get this down there. They seem to like a little bit brighter color uh, in this stained water. So hopefully that's going to do the trick. All right. Guys, Ace is so chill, he's already eating lunch. He's caught his fish. What do we have, like 10, 11 crappie in there and, and nine of them are yours, so eight or nine of them. I think Pops is, I apologize. I apologize, yes. The old man is throwing a few in there. Okay. There's a bite, there he is, finally. There you go, guys, I switched that jerk, that uh, jig, that red and white, tried and true. She's seen a lot of tough battles, there we go. There's number two for Team Micah. She's no slab, but we'll get a little meat off of it. It's a good thing that I'm not catching big ones because I'm making sliders today, so that'll be perfect size. <laughs> oh dear. Try to get the butt. Got him. I just had it hanging out over the side of the boat. What's a little tiny crappie? Oh, There we go. Got one. Yep. There's a right. decent crappie right there. Heck yeah, that's a nice one, Pops. How's that live well looking? Oh yeah. That's looking real good. That's looking real good. Bring some home to mama. You betcha. Yeah, Mike is trying to butter up the judge up here, I hear. Well, that's a great one, Pop. <laughs> Panfish fight. Hey, there we go. That's a little bit better one for me, anyway. That's a nice fish. On Tyler's bomb jiggity jig. Uh, guys, I'll put. There'll be something that'll pop up that'll say the name of this one. He's seen a lot of action, so he's not looking the best. But uh, thanks again, Tyler. Fly tie and Tyler. Yep, fly tie and Tyler. I'll put. There's a link to his Facebook page in, in the description below. So if you want to get some custom handmade jigs made by hand go to that link. There's one. There we go. Spanked it. Mmm, mama! <laughs> he did though, like he hit, like he bumped it so hard my line went slack. It's just an aggressive little fish. I'm telling you, I'm gonna throw a crankbait out there, see if I can get one on a cranker. Big bird there. Got one. What a crankbait. Hope this is the first bass. Ooh, it looks like it. First bass. Guys, I thought I'd take a break from crappie fishing. Put on a little crankbait here. Yes, and it's a keeper. About 12 inches. Sweet. First bass of the day. That's the first smallie of the year, actually, for me. Look at that nice little keeper. You know, since we have enough crappie and stuff, I'm gonna let this guy go. And we got that trout, too. All right, so we're moving on to the next stage. Me Ancient, he's gonna keep fishing because he's the judge, he gets to do what he wants. Ace and I, though, Ace is prepping, got the prep board. We're gonna start filleting some of these crappie up. Dude, what are we up to? Like, 20 crappie, a perch. 20. 20, 20 crappie, crappie, a perch, and a trout. And a trout, yeah, yeah. It's gonna be on like Donkey Kong. So now Ace and I are gonna get these fish cleaned up. And then, dude, are we just gonna launch right in? We're gonna just get yeah, to we're cooking. Yeah, we're gonna cook right here on the boat. Yeah, so we're gonna just get cooking, get this thing judged up, and then it's still plenty of daylight. We might even keep doing a little more fishing. So let's get cleaning. This has a few nice crappie right there. Let's go back, see if there's anybody who wants to vol volunteer as tribute. <laughs> All right, dead gum, that looks good. Here we go. Let's do this guy right here. It's a nice, oh well, if I can grab it. All right, so these crappie are dead. I made sure of that. Got another three. Let's go right up on the board here. Oh, the rest.
rest of them. Fresh crappie right out of the reservoir. Can't stress enough on having a sharp, how much having a sharp knife makes this whole process so much easier. Look at that right there. That's what we do it for right there. Another nice fillet right there. We got a nice little, nice little uh, troop of fillets going on here. I don't know. What, Nice little bundle of fillets. Yes. It's gonna go nice. A mess of fillets, Minor there we go. Man. Well, we come to this matter of the uh, trout here, and what we're gonna do is, I'm only gonna use him if the meat looks good. What it is, I can tell he's a stalker, because his tail is rounded. When they swim around in the old concrete, uh, concrete bins there at the uh, hatchery, their tails get worn down. So you can always tell a hatchery trout. But one of the things about hatchery trout can actually taste quite good because if they've been in the wild for a while, they will have pink meat from eating shrimp and all the wild foods. If you get them fresh out of the hatchery, all they've been doing is eating fish pellets and they're just not as tasty. You can taste a big difference. So what we're gonna do here is we're gonna fillet them open and see what kind of meat he has because I don't wanna be using inferior fish for my sandwich. Sandwich! It's kind of pink. Oh. That. Oh. You got a bass pup? My dad has a bass. We have orangish meat. That will do, pig. That will do. All right, check this out, gang. There are my crappie fillets. I got a nice little pile of crappie right there. This worries me over here a little bit, though. Look at how pink that trout is that Ace has, dude. I don't know. I don't know. It's gonna be Trout tough. versus crab. Actually, I'm gonna cook some crabby too, and I'm gonna taste both of them before and see which one tastes better. Oh, I like that. That's my strategy, actually. That's a good. That's a nice mess, though, right there. Mm. Pops will eat well either way. Yes. <laughs> yes. All right, guys. For my recipe today, I am going to be using butter, and that's it. No, I'm kidding. But we do have butter. I'm gonna start off with that. I have some fresh wild pickles that I picked right here in Idaho. If you want to see that video, I'll have a link in the description below to that video. I also have onions. And I have a little coleslaw, but for the main secret ingredient, as long as Ace isn't looking, I have, what? Hey, get back to your side of the boat. I have Famous Dave's rich and sassy barbecue sauce. Sassy. That is what we're gonna be marinating. Actually just be cooking straight up those fillets in. And I'm going to, making, going to be making little fish sandwich sliders with Bum, 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 bum. King's Hawaiian rolls. These aren't your typical rolls, people. These are like a sweet, delectable goodness. They're delicious. And we're gonna be just throwing like three or four fillets in each one of those King's Hawaiian rolls and with that barbecue sauce, with some onion and pickle and a little bit of our, whatever that's called. Coleslaw. Coleslaw, that's what it's called. And coleslaw. And we're gonna see if that's the ticket to win this challenge today. So it's technically a slam sandwich, because it has to be a sandwich, but it's just a slider. So I might make like two for the old man, and maybe I'll uh, be able to blow him away with the amount of food I'm giving him. I don't know, let's get cooking. All right guys, this is my setup for my cooking today. If you want links to anything, I have it all in the description, everything that I'm using for my cooking setup today. Go check it out in the description if you want to get your hands on anything. There we go. Cut open a fresh bag. I'll get it. We got to turn the heat down because, of course, it's way overheating. Now we're going to go ahead and take some of our barbecue sauce here, mix it in with that butter. Just going to go straight in like that. That's some salt. Nice. That's That's some salt. Now I'm going to go ahead and add those onions because those are going to take a little longer than everything else to cook. Set those onions right in there. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take one of the little crappie fillets. We're gonna set them in along the side right here. I'm gonna test how long that takes to cook down. That way I don't serve the judge meat that's been cooked for too long. And then we can also taste test it a little bit, see what we think. All right, let's go ahead and try some of this fish cooked up. I've got all my onions cooking right now. I cooked up one little fillet right there. Looks pretty good. It smells good. That's not bad at all. I like that. 
That barbecue sauce is really good. All right, look at how that onion is all like falling apart in there. That's good. That means it's cooking down. Looking real good, smelling delish. Go ahead and add a little more salt. Everything. Got like a little bed of barbecue sauce going on. Now we're just gonna go ahead and lay those fillets right in there like that. Okay. Move that onion. Pointing. That's a loss for sure. Need to be kind of nice and easy when I do this. Only flip them once, or else they'll start to fall apart. All right, look at that, guys. Got that fish marinating in that barbecue sauce. Really jacked about this. All right, we're gonna go ahead and pull the rest of that fish off. Slide them up right in over here. Got some nice chunks to put onto our sandwich. And we're also gonna pull that onion off as well. Look at that. Boom, shakalaka. Now what I've done is I've taken my King Hawaiian rolls and I've taken thin slices of butter and put them on each roll. So we're just gonna set them on there like that to warm those up just a little bit. Let a little butter cook in to our rolls right there just for maybe a minute. Check that bread, look at that. Check that out right there. We're gonna go ahead and pull these off now. I'm gonna take a couple pickles for each slider, just like that for the bottoms. I'm gonna take some fish right there, layer it on. It's gonna be kind of messy. Go ahead and put a couple of onions on here as well. Take some of the smaller rings for good crunch. And kind of last but not least, we're gonna take some of that nice cool coleslaw. I don't want a lot, because I want you to be able to take a taste the fish. A little bit of coleslaw. Well, this is gonna be a this is, is gonna be stacked right here, I tell you that. Stacked, my friends. Here we go, guys. There are my two fish sliders right there. Let's take it to the judge. My friends, we have everything here with which to do battle. We have here my first cast seasoning peanut oil, even though it's in a vegetable oil can. I put peanut oil in there. This is going to be one of the main deals here. we got some Louisiana fish fry products seasoning. We're going to deep fry in this deep pot here. Got lemon. We've got our, our weapons of war here. And then we'll get to how I assemble the sandwich in a second. First, we got to cook the fish. Pour a little oil in here. All right, guys, this is my setup for my cooking. So it has started to rain slightly here, so, uh, but we've already got everything all lit up, so we can't stop now. Take our knife, cut open a fresh bag. I always get a fresh bag when I'm doing a cook-off. In my Louisiana fish fry seasoning, I'm going to add my first cast seasoning because this lacks the kick that the Louisiana stuff does. And my seasoning has the kick, so we're going to take it to the next level. You know what? We're going to add some salt, too. Now we take our trout fillets there, folks. I would like them to be a little bit more pink, but these will do. These will do. This trout's been in this lake for, for a while. If it was totally white, if it looked like the crappie, then I wouldn't have used the trout. I would have gone with the crappie. But, uh, it's just enough. We'll see. We'll see. My friends, I believe the oil is hot enough. Oh yeah. Oh, that's cool. Actually, it's hot, but you know what I mean. Oh man, looking good. You know, I am gonna cook off, since everything's going here, I'm gonna cook off this crappie. And then I'll just kind of eat as I cook, and then we'll have the the sandwiches for for the final thing. I just encountered a problem, guys. My um, the bread is going to be kind of cold. It's kind of a chilly day, so I'm going to keep them close. Try to warm them up a little bit. Guys, we're going to sample our trout. Kind of a little moment of truth here. See how it tastes. Almost done. That thin part's definitely going to be done, though. It's good. It's not as good as I was hoping it would be. Let me try one more bite. The trout is fine. I mean, it's 
a fried fish. It's okay. But it's not as tasty as I was hoping it would be. It has a slight fishy flavor to it, actually. I think I'm gonna switch plans. I'm gonna go with the crappie. I'm gonna go with crappie. I'm really glad I tested this, guys, because that would have been disappointing. I think that would have been a loss for sure. So we're gonna put this crappie right in there. Some nice crappie fillets going. All right, guys, we're gonna give these a little flip. One thing about crappie is it's uh, quite delicate. So I wanna cook this so it's kinda hard. Otherwise the fillets won't stay together real well. And so far it's cooking. I turned it up all the way, so it's, it's cooking quite hard. And they're just about done, so we're gonna prepare our sandwich here. I'm gonna reach. I've kind of warmed these up, actually. <laughs> yeah, they're better than ice cold, you know. I'm actually gonna stick them back under here, and get these nice and warmed up, and uh, cut our bread. I have a mixture here that I mixed at the at home: bread and butter pickles, like sliced up, cabbage, and mayo. So we're gonna put that mixture, my dad loves this, this mixture. So we're gonna put it generously on there. You know, I don't wanna go too generously. We don't wanna overpower the fish though. I might be getting too cocky with it right there. Let's put a little bit back. Then as soon as this fish comes off, guys, I have here some sliced, I just freshly sliced an Idaho potato, um, real thin there. We're gonna add just a couple of chips with the sandwich. So I have sandwich and chips with it. I think that should be one of the things that adds that little extra. Ooh, looking good, looking good. Oh yeah, oh yeah. Nice and crispy. I can just tell they're nice and crispy. Oh guys, is that not looking great? And that, look at that, three big pieces. And before we uh, take care of those, I'm going to drop a few of these, just a few, just a few of these little slices in, some chips, fresh made chips. There we go. Right there. Let's cover that. Let's hope those get nice and crispy. My fuel almost sounds like it's running a little bit low, which might be a small problem. We'll see. I'm going to take some lemon and add it to the top of the fish. And I'm gonna add a light dusting of my seasoning, just like so, right over top. And that finishes off our sandwich. Look at that, boys and girls. Oh man. Oh guys, the chips. Oh, they're just about done here. They're just a little bit brown. Look at that, just a little bit brown. So they're nice and crispy. And then. We're gonna take some popcorn salt sent to me by a subscriber. Put generously on the chips. There we go, we got our meal. This is my meal, guys. Not mine, it's for, for my dad, but we had a little bit of coal tartar slaw there. Got the sandwich, got the chips. Sweet. Uh, All right, dude, it is on. It's on, Pops. Which, um, should we, uh, dude, rock, paper, scissors? Rock, paper, go? scissors, go first. All right, pops. I have for you today a sweet and or no a rich and zesty barbecue slider, Ooh. barbecue fish slider, I should mm. say, with uh, some onion and pickle mm. and a little bit of uh, coleslaw on there as well. Right. On Hawaiian King Hawaiian oh, buns. Oh, I like the King Hawaiian. Cooked All in right. a little butter. Let's say a quick prayer. Oh yes, let's say quick prayer. Yep. Thank you so much, Lord God, for a beautiful day and. The good food. I ask you to bless it to our bodies now in Christ's name. Amen. 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 So here we go. Ah, looks good. I like the onion. Good crunch. Counteract I can hear the, the crunch in the onion. Is that right? Yeah. Counteracts the um, you know, the fish is soft, yeah. kind of. Mm -hmm. That fish is difficult. That crappie is super crappie small is and finicky, so when I was turning it in the pan, like, mm -hmm. it was just falling apart. Mm -hmm. So that was something I really didn't plan on. Okay. I think I better stop with one bite there. Okay, one bite. That sounds good. Good. Cleanse my palate. Ah. 
dude, I want to take a bite of this. <laughs> I want to take it. a bite of yours. So you brought chips, bro. Mm -hmm. I didn't know there was a side dish. <laughs> wow. So are these your cooked chips? Yes, sir. Oh, wow. Fresh okay. cooked Idaho potato chips. What kind of, what do we and have And crappie here? here. We have fresh fried crappie sandwich, Louisiana style. All right. With sweet relish. Oh, wow. On a plain bun. Sweet relish. Yeah, feel free to have a chip on you. Okay, you know, but wow. don't encourage you. you know, I was thinking of all those times that you and I spent in Hawaii. <laughs> And that's what really inspired this dish. When I made that snapper for you that one time. You know, the reason, the reason yeah, I made fried. two sliders is because it was really in thought of both of the grandchildren I've been able to give you. So that's why I made two sliders. Um, so. You guys are both pathetic. I don't know why that's true. I have to say, like always, I'm always the winner on these. Cause I'm eating good. That's very true. I mean, wow. Barbecue, barbecued fish, you might as well try one. Yeah, yeah I'm you can try I want to chip. chip. Cause yeah, the chip has like five minute life. Wow. What, did you whittle that potato down? That's a good chip. That's a really good chip. After trying both of them a couple times, I'm tasting more fish on this one. And I like the crunch of the, the fish um, fried. That, that, I like the tomato, but I like this better. We got a sudden air. We need to run this. We're getting for an shells air show. Over here. <laughs> Incoming. So, before we were so rudely interrupted, <laughs> um, I have to say, I like the. That was my flyover, by the way. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> wow. Oh, man. Ouch. Oh. Ouch. This, uh, Micah, I have to say, this wins the day this time. Asa, thank you, this is good. I like the crunch of the fish. That fish was mm -hmm. soft. It, the, there was other crunch in it. The onion was fantastic. The pickle was fantastic. The bun was fantastic. But this is more just fish. And today, for a fish sandwich, this one was the one that hit the spot. So, Dang it. congratulations, Dang Asa. It. Thank you. Enjoy your $100. Micah. <laughs> <laughs> The Thank camera you. was rolling. <laughs> yeah. wow. Good job, bro. I want to try some of your fish. Again, no, I'm, I'm your always fish. the winner. Because uh, it was like there was some. That was my flyover. Wow. Mike is coming in for a hot second finish. Wow. All right, so we just finished the cooking portion of our video. We're getting back to fishing, but it's hailing on the water. Can you guys hear that? That is really cool. It's about the size of like little BB pellets coming down. And we're in the canyon, so it's like reverberating around in the canyon. That is a really cool sound. Nice school at about 20 feet. There's one, yeah, load it on. And now I got something wrong with my reel. This is a tiny fish. What in the heck is wrong? Am I tangled at the end or something? What is this? This doesn't feel like a crappie. Oh, it's a bluegill! Yeah! Right. <laughs> Moodoos! Bring it in the gill. Look at that! That's a fat bluegill right there. That is a fatty. That's a pretty fish. It was like a really light tappity tap tap tap. That's what I'm talking about. That's as big as you'll get out here, that's for sure. I got one. Got one too? Live action, folks! Go ahead and throw him. There we go. Ooh, that's a big, oh, that's a nice one. Heck yeah. There's a bunch of fish down there. <laughs> well, guys, I lost that battle, but the war goes on, bro. Congratulations. Aces takes a commanding two to one lead in the cookoff so far. Of course, Pops, the I'm agent, the big winner. Yep, is the real winner. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Hope you guys have both enjoyed both recipes. As always, we will see you in the next one.